Hi everybody, today I'm going to tell you this about my favourite rolled out book, which is the BFG. Now before I found this book, I heard it on Jack and Ori, which was kind of like CB's BB's bedtime stories when I was a little girl. I didn't really much like rolled out. And then I heard this book. Even the opening line really caught my imagination. The witching hour. Sophie couldn't sleep. A brilliant moonbeam was slanting through a gap in the curtains. It was shining right onto her pillow. The other children in the dormitory had been asleep for hours. So we closed her eyes and lay quite still. She tried very hard to doze off. It was no good. The movie was like a silver blaze slicing through the room onto her face. The house was absolutely silent. No voices came up from downstairs. There were no footsteps on the floor above either. The window behind the curtain was wide open, but nobody was walking on the pavement outside. No cars went by on the street. Not the tiniest sound could be heard anywhere. Sophie had ever known such silence. Perhaps she told herself this was why they called it the witching hour. The witching hour, somebody had once whispered to her, was a special moment in the middle of the night when every child and every grown-up was in a deep, deep sleep and all the dark things came out from hiding and had the world to themselves. The moonbeam was brighter than ever on Sophie's pillow. She decided to get out of bed and close the gap in the curtains. You got punished if you were caught out of bed after lights out. Even if you said you had to go to the laboratory, that was not accepted as an excuse. And they punished you just the same. But there was no one about. Sophie was sure of that. She reached out for her glasses that lay on the chair beside her. They had steel rims and very thick lenses. She could hardly see a thing without them. She put them on, then she slipped out of bed and over to the window. When she reached the curtain, Sophie hesitated. She longed to duck underneath them and lean out of the window to see what the world looked like now that the witching hour was at hand. She listened again. Everything was deathly still. The longing to look out became so strong she couldn't resist it. Quickly she ducked under the curtains and leaned out of the window. In the silvery moonlight, the village street she knew so well looked seemed completely different. The houses looked bent and crooked like houses in a fairy tale. Everything looked pale and ghostly like and milky white. Across the road, she could see Mrs. Rance's shop, where she bought buttons and wool and bits of elastic. It didn't look real. There was something dim and misty about that, too. Sophie allowed her eyes to travel further and further down the street. Suddenly, she froze. There was something coming up the street on the opposite side. It was something black. Something tall and black. Something very tall and very black and very thin. My class will tell you I love to stop in a cliffhanger. And I hope in that little snippet of what I've read and the way that Roald Dahl describes what's going on has wet your imagination too. Maybe you would like to come and read the book too. If you would, remember it's Roald Dahl's BFG.